Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 7 October 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly correspondent Rebecca Campbell writes that the South African Astronomical Observatory has added important capabilities to its telescopes this year. The South African Astronomical Observatory, or SAAO, a business unit of the National Research Foundation, is focused on optical astronomy. For the past 50 years, all its operating telescopes have been located near Sutherland in the Karoo region in the Northern Cape province, where it hosts no fewer than 24 telescopes. The engineering news features focus on wind energy, where an increased generation capacity of wind farms will boost decarbonization. And Sassel, where plans remain in place despite setbacks. The Mining Weekly features focus on crushing, screening and milling, where a company has a unique blend of crushing and screening equipment on offer. Conveyors and Components, where a manufacturer launches a new range of mobile conveyors. And a review of Electromining Africa, where the trade show welcomed over 30,000 visitors. This week's business leader is Meta Mshlari, co-founder and executive director of Mashlaku, a Pachla group. And in this week's cartoon, the US dollar's rampant performance in September left many other currencies quite shaken, including the British pound. Given the extent of the economic and financial headwinds heightened in South Africa's case by intense load shedding, the ride is likely to remain unsettling for some time. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.